What's up, Collective? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmicy ass clowns. I want to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting my channel. And if you're new to this channel, yes, I smoke weed. Yes, I'm an adult. I'm grown. Okay. Now, if you don't like the smell of weed and you're coming to this channel, just sit your ass over there in the corner and cover your mouth and your nose so you don't get a contact, but you stay and you listen for the message, okay? So I'm blowing that smoke. Anyway, um, yeah, this is a little pre-rolled. But, um... Thank you to everyone who has been supporting my channel. Thank you for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes. And I need you all to hit that notification bell so you will be notified when Auntie uploads. Now, the reason I call myself Auntie is because Auntie tells the truth because the truth tells me. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth on some shit, whether you like it or not, okay? Because I love you. So, go on and subscribe to my channel. I'm that auntie you ain't never had, okay? The overall energy that has fell out for some of my nieces and nephews out there, a relationship is over. If, this, if the relationship ain't over... Yeah, they're having a, a bike festival down here. And um, that's all you're going to see in my background, at my back window, is the cyclist bicycle people. They're all Asian. I've been hearing um, Asian talk. Okay, so... Yeah, back to your reading. I'm gonna roll my window up because they, they, uh, all you gonna hear is them holding they, they brakes or whatever the word is. That, that sound right there. That winding sound. And that's crazy as I, as I, wind the window on one side then they start going on the other fucking side they've been going all on this side then i roll this window up then they start going on that side that dumb motherfuckers anyway not ain't done but anyway so um somebody out there a relationship is over you could have moved out and um or you could have kicked somebody out you could have took a, uh your key a relationship, it's like you felt like there's no need for you to stay in this relationship. Okay, you're creative by yourself. Okay. Yeah, somebody took took a key back. Um, you felt like it's it's not important for you to be in this relationship. Or somebody around you could have ended a relationship. Somebody ended a relationship. We have friends and gatherings. And this is a general reading. This is just a general reading, okay? For those of you who have recently broke up with somebody, this reading may be for you. Somebody is broke up, you're going through um, this relationship breakup, but you're hanging with your friends, you know, that's a good thing to do. That's a good way to heal when you're going through a breakup instead of sitting at home listening to sad music, crying and all of that shit. No, no. Mm -hmm. you, you be around your friends and family loyalty and trust whoever the person you was dealing with who you was in this relationship with you were loyal to them okay you were loyal to them it's a tower moment you're not having a tower moment so what 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 broke the relationship up? What what happened with this relationship? I gotta get my other cards. Wait a minute. Pull out all 
all my cards. Set them all up here. I brought, I think, six decks with me down here. extra cards. Y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Am I taking too long? Am I? Okay, so we're gonna find out it's a marriage. Somebody, you could have found out that somebody was married. Um, Why did this relationship come to an end, Holy Spirit? Why did relationship maybe your person could have been um, going to too many parties, hanging out with their friends and shit, and ignoring you or leaving you at home by yourself. Why did the relationship come to an end, Holy Spirit? Somebody didn't want to settle down. Didn't want to be anchored down in the situation. Money. Unexpected income. Somebody wasn't putting in the toil and labor in a relationship. And they was just giving you money. My nose itching. So yeah, you ended this relationship because... It's like you were trustworthy, loyal. Um, this person, you know, it's like they just wanted, want you to be anchored down to them. And them not, you know, put no energy into the relationship. Oh, my nose is itching. Right here. It's itching right here. Why did this relationship end, Holy Spirit? Apology. This you ended the relationship, but this because this person they they would, you know, leave you at home and go be out with their friends, give you a little money for you to go shopping and all of this shit, and then they come back and apologize for not putting the effort or the toil and labor in the relationship with you. And you realize that this relationship ain't going nowhere. Okay? And some sort of secrets came out. And you got a message. You could have you could have found um you could have found a letter, a note, or something. Oh, so for somebody out there, this relationship is over. Because you found the letter or a message to somebody that some that your person is is uh, apologizing to somebody else, and this is why they weren't putting toil and labor in the relationship with you because they're trying to deal with somebody from their past that they was with, and they apologize to this person, or that you found the letter of this person apologizing to your person. And for some of you, this 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 person is around these friends, these gatherings that your person is going to. And this is why the relationship has come to an end. Because this person, apparently either you take the, take it, take the roles where they resonate. It could be you or this person, somebody was going, you know, hanging out with their friends and partying and doing all that type of stuff. Um, they didn't want to be, you know, settled. Mm -mm. All they was doing is giving you money. And you could have found out that this person was either secretly writing somebody, um, communicating with somebody. What was this message of concern about? What is the message of concern about? 
If this is resonating with you, then hit that thumbs up. What was this message of concern about? That somebody was using somebody. That's a rat. This person was, they was just using your energy. Tell me about this rat in reverse, these mice. Tell me about the mice in reverse. They ain't gonna change. Or they didn't want you to move. They wanted to continue using you while they deal with somebody else or secretly dealing with somebody else. You found some sort of, you found the message. You found that this person was either writing to somebody or they was giving money to somebody. And this is why they're not putting the toil and labor. Okay, let me see. Why is toil and labor in reverse? Why is the toil and labor in reverse? Holy Spirit. Why is toil and labor toil and labor in reverse? Because they was working on something with somebody else. They was working on something with somebody else. Clarify the occupation. Y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up for auntie, please. And even if you're just here being nosy, if you're a cross watcher, hit that thumbs up, okay? And this is for all signs, but it's a general message. Somebody that returned from another place, another city, state, country, they came back. So this is why your relationship has uh, like ended. Because somebody returned and your person was 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 um, secretly writing and communicating with this person and you found out and you ended it. Yep. That's why they wasn't putting no toil and labor in the relationship. That's why they was, you know, not wanting to be anchored down or settled, get settled down with you. Okay, spirit, show me how does this person feel towards the collective? How does this person feel towards the collective? How does this person feel towards the collective? Crabby, grumpy, irritable, cranky towards you. That's because they dealing with somebody else. And the more they're, um, I don't, I don't, auntie don't mean to sound mean, but if this person is acting cranky, my nose is still itching. If they're acting cranky and crabby around you like that, that's because they want to be around that other energy. At that time and moment, you discuss this person because they want to be, and I'm sorry, they want to be around somebody else. How does this person that they're dealing with, wow, the person I, I was just finna say, how does the person that they're dealing with feel about the collective? This person that they're dealing with is watching you. They're curious about you. They're being nosy and they're interested. 
and what you got going on or who you are. Yeah, they're watching you. So, why is this person watching the collective? Or the roles can be reversed. You may be watching them. Okay. They're watching you because somebody is bored and disinterested. Now, this could be for somebody, this the like this can be, this can actually be. Your person ending something with the karmic energy. I said from the beginning, but it is a general reading. So, this person is bored, disinterested, and tired. Or this could be how you feel about your person. But this does seem like a karmic energy if somebody is always hanging around their friends. Using people, secrets and shit. So this could be your person or you ending a relationship. Whoever the the, the you are, the 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 karmic energy is being is is uh being let go of. This is this is some weird shit. Okay. Somebody returned. Somebody came back. Which could have made your person start acting, you know, funny towards you. And they could also be acting funny towards this karmic. Somebody is acting funny. Somebody is bored. And with with when I asked, how is this karmic feeling about you, the viewer? They're curious about you, okay? And why are they curious and it came out bored, interested, and tired? So they may be interested in, in you because this masculine may, may be bored with them now. So they're watching you, okay? Oh, okay, and for some of you, they're watching you because maybe your person has came and apologized to you about the secrets coming out of them communicating with this person. And maybe they're no longer allowing this karmic to um, use them anymore. Okay. So I'm going to stop it right there. If this reading resonated with your energy or anybody around you energy, then hit that thumbs up button. And if it didn't, just hit that thumbs up and energetically donate to my channel and go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next reading. Peace.